Okay, so we're checking out the only game where you get to experience first person what it's like to go into a wood chipper head first. It's take me to dead. You also get to do all this while Google Translate belittles you. Take me to dead is a new play on the bone breaking stick man style of games in that it's fully 3D and has a first person mode. And like one of the very first stages is you falling into a giant human grinder. Like not just one, there's like four layers of them. You may be saying to yourself, but Gray, could it possibly get any worse? You're goddamn right it can. Whenever you have maps like Fun Balloons, Doomsday, Black Hole, Zigzag Saws, Dead Wall, and the hell, I know that we have to see how many bones we can break. There has to be a way, of course, to break the game and get unlimited bones, and thus we must find it together. And like I said, you get to experience everything. There's even a cinematic camera because who wouldn't want to see someone's leg get wrapped around their neck and choked to death with it. So on top of all this, there's obviously all the different vehicles that you can get. And then on top of that, there's all the different props that you can get. You know, props like arrow launchers and saws. I'm actually gonna get the steam because I want to put it everywhere. This game was foolish for giving me this many places to put this down. Jesus, they just keep going. All right, now we're all gonna get to see exactly what it's like. Actually, what are the different ways I can get in this seat? Oh no, I wanna see my death coming. Also, this is the first game where you get a busty girl stick figure. All right, I know the first question that everyone is gonna ask. If you look down, can you see your boobs? <laughs> Apparently you can. All right, baby, let's do this. And of course you can eject from your seat. You can look all around as well. Come on, baby, I wanna get as many bones as possible. I had gotten 7,300 as my best score just screwing around. What am I caught inside of this? Damn it. Hold on, I, I see, I need the cinematic camera to understand exactly where I went wrong. Right about here, I feel, is an excellent jump. Now you can see both the skull and the pelvis being ripped in half multiple times. 5,000 points, 6,000 points. All right, we're getting closer. You know what we need? A better vehicle. Motorbike? Sounds stupid enough. We both know there's a way to break at least a thousand bones in this game. Go, my child. Go to victory. Does she actually scream in horror when she jumps off of the motorcycle? I'm pretty sure she does. Holy sh- 10,000 points. Oh yeah. You hear that? You hear that crunching sound? That's the sound of a young stick figure soul leaving her body. Come on, we're not done yet. Best part is too, you can switch between the different cameras. I think I may have already, oh, I thought I may have already found ultimate infinite scores. 727 votes. The fact that there is a dismember score makes me real hopeful for this game. Yeet. Yep, that is definitely the death whale of a person that knows that her time is up. We're only at 7,600 points though. Where the hell are you? Are you stuck in between like three different blenders? Yep, she sure is. So the steam works exactly like I hoped it would. It basically holds you up in the air so you can get repeatedly beaten. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna rest here. All right, hold on. We have to find out if anything is better than these. How about arrow launcher? The stick figures like jokes on you, Gray. I'm bulletproof. Yeah, guess what? I'm not using bullets. Where are the arrows at? Oh, Jesus! The arrow launchers are amazing! Get hit with arrows 50 times! Oh, look at her body! <laughs> Might as well keep it going. Well, the arrows are substantially better than the steam, it seems like. I'm just seeing if I, if I like, get to see the arrows coming in the first person. Hopefully no one gets motion sickness. Oh, the sound of the bones breaking when you're in the first person is awful. Jesus. All I can see is arrows. <laughs> Make it stop. At 7,000 for the bone breaking score this time. Still no dismemberments though. Hold on, we need to try that. You're not having fun until a stick figure loses an appendage. Saw. I'm gonna leave some arrows down there as well. I got shot all the way to the wall. I'm guessing we have to move on to fun balloons. I have enough coins after all. What the hell are these? I know they say fun balloons, but why do I feel like I'm not about to have any fun? 
What the hell happened to my legs? Oh, you actually get to see the bones that are being broken. It turns into a legitimate skeleton each time. I mean, I, I, I guess I'll get the car. How fast is the car? I don't think it's a matter of how fast it is. I, pfft. These aren't really balls, they're giant eggs. What other poses? <laughs> oh, hold on, there we go. This is exactly where you're supposed to be when driving a vehicle. Take it from gray, especially when it's not my ass that's on the line. I think the car fell on top of me too. That was a terrible score. Hold on, I think the problem here is I need something to juggle me into the balls. Put a bunch of steam down. <gasps> I'm caught inside. Oh God, I'm caught inside of the railing of my own Jeep. Jesus. Ow. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. I'm fine. I just wanted to see what other ways you can... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh. Yay! Never gotten to see my spine go through my throat before. These scenes are already so good. I'm kind of curious what the hell is like now. This is Doom Day. It has rocking pendulums in it. I like this board already. I'm invincible. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stay on the motorcycle this time. Hopefully I can, that's what I wanted. I was gonna say, hopefully I can just hit the pendulums head first. Yeah, what the hell, let's throw some TNT down here. Nothing can go wrong. Where the hell? What happened? I was nowhere near the TNT. The TNT prematurely ejaculated. Let's try that again. It's possible that what it's blowing up. <laughs> I was gonna say is my motorcycle. I don't know how the hell I did that. I wasn't really what I had intended. Come on arrows, give it to me. Oh yeah, uh, it's just. It's better than going to a piercing parlor. Come on, roll your happy ass down those stairs. There's still arrows left. This is such a bad position to start off for this bed. This is not a normal bed pose. This is not a normal bed pose either. Honestly, both of these are extremely bad, but I guess I'll accept this one. All right, full jump. Made it to the bottom at least. I like how you get points for doing full flips. I'm not leaving my bed. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> First person cam. You can actually feel her teeth getting knocked out of her body right there. I finally have enough to buy black hole. Okay, so it looks like it's pendulums into, what the hell is that over there? Is that like a snow blower? There's an overview button. Oh, it's much worse than a snowblower. Well, there's only one way to find out exactly how bad it is. Yeet! Oh, I just yeeted myself off the board. Damn it! All right, let's try and not make a sudden turn. Oh, those things can legitimately knock you over. I'm gonna need something a bit more robust than my motorcycle for once. All right, car, you get sh gas mileage, but hopefully you can make it through the balls. You're fired. Uh, yeah. Give me all the saws and then some steam. Can you please stop running me over with my own car? Oh yeah. The only problem is you get caught on this side over here and there's no more blendy things. All right, so the plan is you have to ejaculate yourself early. I never, I don't think I've ever gotten into so many damn motorcycle accidents in all my life. I'm just trying to make it to the blades for God's sakes. Ow. You can steer in different directions. My God. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Ah, come on. All right, screw this. I'm buying a sports car. I feel like speed is the necessity to get us through here. It is. You didn't let me down, sports car. Well done. I'm getting spanked on my ass. Ugh. I feel like this is the right way to drive this vehicle. I like how you can still eject yourself from here somehow. Oh, oh God. Hells to the yes. Come on, 9,800, come on, 11,000. Juggle her back up there, perfect. Yep, don't want her slipping out now. Oh. I exchanged this with the arrows launcher. Look at the height you can get from it. Oh, I went off the board, yes! Infinite. 
Wait, so if you can just go off the board, hold on. Can I, can I point this thing all the way to the end over here? All right, go like this. Drive. Eject. Come on, go off the board, damn it. Fall off the board. Good. I mean, we might as well go all the way and buy the most expensive vehicle. Is that TNT in the back of the truck? Why wouldn't it be? Hopefully this allows me to get some substantial air. Okay, it is not TNT. Why would you leave the house without TNT in your damn- Never mind, it's TNT. Ah! Oh god! What the hell was that? I think I may have broken a lot of bones there. Yeah, 5,900. Man, I'm getting really good at flying off the board. You know what? Let's just go with all arrow launchers. Oh, I wasn't sure if I could make it through, but I did. I'm gonna go flying off the board in the other direction this time. All right, we gotta keep going. Zigzag saws. Flying off the board isn't good enough. We have to find a way to ping pong through death for life. Also, I've completed a sh ton of quests. Oh, this looks safe. Oh, I'm actually stuck. The vehicle is too thick. All right, fall down here, get blown up, sunbathe. You know what? Go ahead, take the motorbike. But drive this b right into the damn grinders. I never thought it'd be so hard to hit a bunch of blades. I think I found my new favorite board because this one can legitimately rip people in half and you get the hell juggled out of you. I think I just lost all of my limbs. My body got ripped to pieces. 43,000 score, not too bad. 12,088 bone breaking score. I love my car. I'll never leave you behind, just kidding. So when you do the cinematic, which part does it zoom in on if you get ripped into pieces? In fact, if you're in the first person and you get ripped into pieces, what does it center on? Just your skull? I guess it's time to f <laughs> I was gonna say, I guess it's time to find out. I have no idea where my body is. It's just a leg. That's all that's left. Yeah, these arrows aren't up my ass far enough. Could you get them in there farther, please? Thank you. Don't mind me. Just getting juggled on these balls here. Oh, the balls are so good. They really take all the kinks out of my back. Eh, 4,300 bone breaking, but I, I still feel like we can do better. Give me the balls. Yes. Oh, they're so good. You get to see them face to face. It's not too often that you get a game that allows you to truly experience what it's like to have all of your spinal column rearranged by a bunch of violent balls. So I opened up a board called The Hell, which uh, is still not the best board yet. And I found out that you can also unlock a Santa stick figure. So I figured we would join him. In bringing joy to all the little children. Why are all the arrows only going for the balls? God, they're like ball-seeking arrows. Come on, Santa. This is so all the kids can get a nice laugh. Don't go flying off the board now. I'm trying to hide under the car. It's not working. Wow, these balls are really scoring me some points. All right, we're going for the big one. Kong Skull Island. You better not let me down. I decided to buy this Vespa as well, just to see what it's like. Apparently it's very fragile. I'm desperately trying to see if I can get right in the center there so I can get caught on that blade. I think I can get a ton of points. It's just a pain in the ass. It's like trying to get a hole in one in a freaking golf course. Only instead of a golf ball, I'm using Santa Claus. Oh my god, my body just got ripped in half. All that's left are my legs. My torso went flying into the next realm. Prepare yourself, Santa. We don't need legs where we're going. How the hell did you manage this? All right, first person. <laughs> it looked like we had hit the ground. I don't really know what happened afterward. Oh, we got our best score in first person. All right, cinematic view, Skull Island, go. All right, may have been a, a knee contusion there, perhaps. Uh, Santa's still in one piece, though, so honestly, it's not really that bad. 26,000 points on that, too. And we're riding our wheel in our groin. I finally got off this board, too. All you have to do is 
You gotta get that explosion just right. Wait for it. Wait for it. Damn it. There it is. That should get me off. I mean, off the board. You know what I meant. Well, half of me is here. Half of me is here. Can you guess what happened? What happened is I went down this course in a friggin' office chair. I thought it could only turn out well, and I was completely right. I made it inside! Yes! Oh my god, finally! It's taking so long! I love driver's ed! Just kidding! <laughs> oh my god! It's a home run! Well, hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Take Me to Dead. Till the next time. Stay foxy and much love. <laughs>